the idea here is it benefits you. Uh, it's in your best interest to essentially move and locate your company in other companies that are kind of similar to you. And so that would kind of goes against conventional theory or wisdom. You think, wait a minute, I, why would I want to locate right next to one of my competitors? Well, the idea there is, well, what happens when all of a sudden one of your workers uh, goes off the deep end and is, you know, goes crazy and leaves the company? They're a great worker. How are you going to replace them? Where are you going to find someone that's interested in high-tech stuff, social media? Well, uh, you'll probably find them somewhere uh, you know, nearby if you're located there in Silicon Valley, where you find all of these companies here all located, all of them headquarters in the same exact location. Uh, they're somewhere around San Francisco, Oakland, uh, in San Jose. That makes no sense. Why would they all locate there? Well, there's a variety of reasons. Uh, first off, one key reason is there's money. Uh, there's venture capitalists. Uh, so you have people that are willing to spend money on uh, great ideas, new ideas, new technologies, the next Facebook. And so if you go back to that movie, The Social Network, all about the origins of Facebook and all of that, so essentially what the guy did was he moved his company from Harvard or wherever in New England. He moved it specifically to the San Francisco area because that's where people who are interested in technology but also interested in spending money to help technology are found. Further, what you also have out here is you have lots of research institutions. So you have a lot of smart people. You have a lot of high-tech, highly educated people. Uh, for example, Stanford University, California uh, at Berkeley. Very, very, very highly intelligent people. It's another good uh, reason to, tra uh, to, to move here. Other things, you've got cultural diversity, which a lot of these companies like uh, because it attracts the best and the brightest workers. Uh, there's been research that's found that. Uh, but another key thing is you've got patent lawyers, uh, people who are good at protecting ideas, good at making sure your ideas don't get stolen, good at uh, making sure that your ideas will be financially rewarded. And so all of this helps to understand why we have the agglomeration of these high-tech companies all located in one specific area of the country. Another good way to showcase agglomeration is the healthcare and hospitals that are all clustered somewhere around IUPUI's campus. We can all see them here in this particular aerial photo. And so what we have is these orange arrows, each showcase some type of hospital. For example, Riley Children's Hospital, the Simon Cancer Center, uh, Methodist Hospital, which is connected to, uh, you know, with these separate oranges, uh, orange dots that are actually connected via the, uh, the people mover. Uh, we've got the Veterans Hospital. Uh, we've got Eskenazi. Uh, so we've got all these, the neuroscience place, Fairbanks, all these various places uh, that all work together for the same idea, the same objective, healthcare. Uh, so we think about, uh, for example, IU med students uh, will be working on, on patients in Riley uh, that might have a particular cancer, a uh, particular condition in which researchers in the IU med school, uh, actual professors are working on, in which they're actually you know, testing out other ideas with Methodist hospital patients and so forth. And so you have the sharing of ideas. And so it's a benefit of clustering. And so if all of these different operations were separated all throughout the metropolitan Indianapolis, which would make sense on, at first, uh, were all separate, you wouldn't have these interactions. Further, let's say all of a sudden, you know, you lose a good surgeon. They go somewhere else. Uh, they go to Chicago for a new job. Where are you going to find another new surgeon? Well, you're probably going to find one somewhere else in this particular area. Further, these are going to, where you're going to situations where you have what we call technological spillover. We have a high, highly... Uh, educated people are going to be going to lunch and interacting with other people. And so you get these networks built. Uh, so you get exchange of ideas, exchange of information, sharing of new ideas. And so essentially this clustering is what I call coopetition. They're kind of co competing against each other. They're hospitals. I mean, they all want your business, uh, but they're all kind of cooperating as well. They're sharing ideas, technology, products, what have you.